we're in my kitchen today. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna bake cookies, and I'm also gonna answer your guys' questions because I had you send me questions to answer. That's kind of self-explanatory. Three dozen? Fuck. Yes, I wore a jean jacket in my last video, but I have a brand to maintain. You'll need eight tablespoons of butter, room temperature. I'm gonna microwave it. I'm just gonna microwave it. I'm gonna use this. This big bowl that in a kid I used to puke in, so. Eight tablespoons, so that's one stick of butter. One large egg. I ripped the directions, that's great. So we're just gonna. Oh fuck, I need to preheat the oven. I feel like this is just not right. Do you see it? Do you plan on ever going back to school? Honestly, I don't know. I School was never my thing. This does not look right. School was never really my thing. Like I hated high school. I hated like all of it. I was doing college and college for the first year was fine. I was doing really well, but my anxiety started getting really bad and it was it just became like way too much to handle so i technically like i dropped out of college and now i don't see myself going back i'm trying to like get my mental health under control you know what i'm saying i feel like i should have softened the butter more but i used be using a whisk i have two whisks whisk will i choose <laughs> heard a noise is it michelle probably if you don't know michelle's the ghost in my house he's not a mean ghost like we're fine i think she's chill like i would be her friend but lately she started acting up again i think she's trying to test me this looks like dog food how did i already fuck up you see this well that was just butter would it be bad if i put it in the microwave to like soften it a little bit more did you say no? Okay, well, I'm gonna do it anyway, because we're running out of options. How not to bake by Liz. Does this look more like dough? Well, this salad, I should probably just eat it. Let's talk about salmonella for a second. I will never stop eating raw cookie dough. I think the government saying that you can get salmonella from eating raw cookie dough, I think that's just them trying to stop me from living my best life. This is supposed to make three dozen cookies, but by the time it gets in the pan, there's only gonna be two dozen because I can't stop eating it. This looks like a fucking chicken wing. Looks more like cookie dough now. So then I'm gonna start forming the balls. Two pans here because this, I'm gonna, it's looking like I'm gonna make a lot of fucking cookies. Spoonful, two inches apart of cookie sheet with parchment paper. Listen, I can tell you right now, I don't own parchment paper. Another question was, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? In the U.S., if I could travel anywhere, I California. I want to go to California really, 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 really bad. Outside the U.S., I really want to go to, like, anywhere in Europe. I also really want to go to Germany because my grandma's German, so I think that would be really fun. Yeah. Put it on the pan. You can't see any of this, so this is going great. That, like that. Not sure if the sizing was right, but we're gonna pretend that it is. And then I will rip. Oh, the oven's done. We got cookie tray number one. Number two. It said it made three dozen, but let's see. It made 27, so we're off. You're probably saying, Liz, it's because you made them fucking huge. And if you said that, uh, you're right, but bake 10 to 12 minutes or until cookies are like golden brown. Put them in for eight because I don't wanna fuck it up. Fuck, that's hot. Timer. Eight minutes. I'm hungry. I'm gonna make a late lunch and then I'll answer more questions because I've only, I've only answered like maybe two. The oven's beeping. Is this crooked? Probably. I'm just gonna let them cool because they'll finish cooking. For also eight minutes. I made an everything bagel with some avocado on it. I have my laptop pulled up with your questions. I'm gonna try to answer them if I didn't delete them on accident, so. It's like a mukbang. What do you think above all else is your main focus in life right now? My mental health. Mental health has always kind of been like at the forefront of everything just because my anxiety has been really bad. My anxiety and then also surrounding myself with good people because I didn't have like so many incredible people in my life. like. I don't know what I would do. I know talking with your mom feels rude, but 
I'm sorry. Your video game. Does Mario Kart count? I don't really play video games. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Let's talk about that. Not the fact that I don't have a boyfriend, but like, talk about boys. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Never had a boyfriend. I'm alone. It's fine. I'm fine. Do you like anybody? Here's the thing. Yes, but I'm trying to convince myself that I don't because I'm trying to convince myself to get over it. You know? Like when I like when I don't have a crush on somebody, I'm like, wow, I miss having a crush on somebody. Like having crushes are fun. And then you get a crush on someone and you're like, mmm, no, wrong, 911. I'm so hungry. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? I literally cannot choose. You can't ask me that. It depends, like it changes all the time. I have like a few favorites, but I don't have like one specific favorite. I would literally lay my life down in line for everything bagels. Oh, this is so good. How do you get over somebody? That's a good question. How do you deal with liking somebody you have no chance with? <laughs> you don't deal with it. That's the thing. I'm the queen of liking guys that I have no chance with. Like you will meet nobody better at it than me. It's not even a good, like a good thing to be good at, but I am fucking amazing at it. If anybody wants to date me, like just like leave a comment. Do you find it hard being 21 and being pressured into drinking or anything like that? I don't really go out that much just because I don't really like parties. Like I'll go out here and there because I like to see my friends and I like going out with my friends and having fun. But I hate parties. Just I'm not a party person. I used to feel a little bit pressured, but that was like mainly in high school. Like I... It doesn't really like phase me that much anymore to to drink for like my own personal reasons. Like my close friends like never like force me to drink or anything. But I think even if you don't have people pressuring you, sometimes you can still feel pressured because it's what everybody around you is doing. But if it's something that you know you don't want to do, you don't have to do it because like ultimately you're the one in control. And then also if it's much of a problem stop putting yourself in situations where you're surrounded by people that try to make you feel pressured to do things you don't want to do especially in high school and stuff like i know high school drinking and stuff can kind of seems can kind of seem like the cool thing to do to fit in but i can promise you that drinking while you're underage with people that aren't actually your friends i can promise you that that's not going to make you fit in cookies let's go hot why did i touch that that was so hot it's done like under the time that you're supposed to but i don't want to burn them okay and then they're also like really fucking hot so they'll cook a little bit more and i'd rather them be like a little doughy than crusty why did i say crusty i meant burn <laughs> that was cute this looks like the state of michigan on oh, my michiganders you know, somebody asks where in Michigan you live, you can just hold up your hand and fucking point. What is this called? That's all I have for you. Um, this video was a hot mess, but I have other videos planned. Just kidding, not really. I don't really have any other videos planned. But if you have ideas, you should let me know because I'm out of breath. I need to start working out. Oh, can I should do that. Thanks for watching. Uh, yep. Okay. Bye.